Gangsta here, and I'm here to show you what I got in the mail today. Today I received directly from Yaffa, and by the way, thanks Yaffa, I do appreciate it. The new Mark Twain Crescent Filler Fountain Pen in Vintage Blue. The pen itself comes in a dark blue sleeve, and inside the dark blue sleeve, of course, is the dark blue Conklin hinged box that the pen itself comes in, which is a nice sturdy box. Open up the box and what we got, we have some literature. It's Conklin, the legendary name for fine writing instruments. It's true, there's a lot of history behind that name. Congratulatory message, congratulating on buying a Conklin Crescent filler. And then on the flip side of that, it's the instructions of how to fill a Conklin Crescent filler pen, which I'm going to do on the next segment of this video. I will be filling the pen. It is a little tricky, uh, but it's very interesting. Beside the box is the pen. It's lovely blue and black material with beautiful silver trim. So let's take this out. I really like the blue and the silver together. I think it looks really nice and classy. Of course, the Crescent Filler has that really cool rocker clip, which makes it really nice to clip on this stuff, especially if you like to clip it into your pocket. It's real easy to clip that on. Or also, if you like to keep it in a pen case where this clips into the case itself, great, easy to use and all that. Crescent itself, and I'll show you how to use that later. And of course, around the cap, it says Conklin. And then on the back of that, it says Mark Twain. Now let's take this cap off and inside, of course, we've got the new, I don't know if y'all are aware of this, hopefully you are, um, the new nibs of Conklin. <laughs> Actually, this Conklin pen came with a Monteverde <laughs> nib. That's fine. Alpha with the Monteverde and the Conklin pens are now starting to use Yovo steel nibs, which I have a great reputation of being great writing nibs. So here's what it looks like when it's posted. It's a good looking pen. And there's the Monteverde nib, which is now, it is a Yovo nib. Overall, I think it's a really gorgeous pen. I really enjoy this color scheme a lot, something different. I just wanna know, hey, Yaffa, when y'all gonna come out with pink pens or purple pens or stuff like that, something like real, really girly. I think that would be really cool. I'm really happy with this pen. I think it's beautiful. I think the next thing we're gonna try is to ink it up and see how it writes. With today's Crescent Filler, I'm gonna be filling it with Monteverde Moonstone ink, which is a great everyday type of ink color. And it's also a great neutral color. Inking the Mark Twain Crescent Filler, it's a little tricky. But once you know how to do it, it's really not a big deal. So I'm gonna start by just, we're gonna go ahead and just open that up. Oh, this little bubble. <laughs> Yay. All right, I'm gonna unscrew this. And basically what you do now is, you see there's a little ring around the pen. And what the ring does is it locks up this crescent. Because if you can imagine, once the ring itself, so there's like this little opening to the ring, once you move it right here underneath the crescent, well then it moves around. So if you can imagine not moving this back into a locking position, what can happen is you actually do this and ink comes out and it just goes everywhere. And, and then what you do is, what I like to do when I'm going to fill up the crescent filler, is before I even dip the nib into the ink, I like to press down my crescent like so, and then I put the entire nib, part of the section into the ink itself, and I just let go. And what's going on there is there is actually a bladder inside the pen that is sucking up the ink. And that's why this pen is known as a self-filling pen. Probably full now. And so then I just take it out. And before I even wipe down the nib, I'm gonna go ahead and move this little ring back into a locking position so I don't accidentally squeeze it and the ink just goes
I'm super happy with this pen. I think it's lovely. I think it writes really nice. I really enjoy the throwback crescent filler method that this pen fills with ink. I think it's a really cool feature. Another thing about the Conklin pens that you may not know is that the nibs are interchangeable. So let's say if you get like a medium nib on your new crescent filler, you can also order a replacement nib. So like, God forbid you drop your pen and the nib is ruined. You can replace the nib very easily because the unit itself screws out and you can screw in a new unit. So let's say you don't like that medium nib or you've accidentally destroyed it, you can replace it with a broad nib or a fine nib without a problem. Well, thanks so much for watching this look at the Conklin Vintage Blue Crescent Filler. I really hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Thanks and take care.